Well, you have to use your gifts, you know, faith without works. Going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication. Blessing is in what you got left. And if you will sow what you got left, God said, I'll give you back. A fresh wave of intrigue is sweeping through Tinseltown, and the latest buzz surrounds the scandalous downfall of Bishop Jakes. Social media is ablaze with chatter about his purported misstep at a high-profile gathering, with rumors suggesting a connection far more intricate than initially perceived. As the unfolding drama captivates the attention of numerous celebrities, Denzel Washington refuses to remain on the sidelines. Rumor has it, He's skillfully casting shadows in Bishop Jakes' direction, not explicitly mentioning him. How is he accomplishing this, you wonder? During an interview with CBN about his latest film, Washington subtly spilled some spiritual insights, seemingly alluding to the recent tumult surrounding T.D. Jakes. Let's dissect the issue in today's video. But of course, before we go any further, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now let's get going. Word on the street suggests that Denzel Washington delved into profound reflections on his beliefs and how they intricately shape his life, both on and off the camera. The actor navigates a unique fusion of Christianity and showbiz philosophy, viewing faith as an active force rather than a passive endeavor, a perspective not universally embraced. Echoing the sentiments of the character Titan from a movie, Denzel emphasizes the necessity of utilizing one's gifts, asserting that faith without works is nothing, and acknowledging that not everyone must be an activist. You have to use your gifts, you know, faith without works. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait, I'm not done now. I know what usually happens at the Diddy party, or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. Talk to, to reverends and priests, but they ain't never came to a party with me or nothing like that. Adding to the intrigue, there's a tale of a mystic lady foreseeing Denzel's global impact, not as a conventional preacher in a traditional church, but through his endeavors in Hollywood. When the actor contemplated the possibility of a calling to preach, his pastor reportedly assured him that he already possessed the gifts to illuminate and expose those who stray from the faith in secrecy. This narrative gains an interesting twist as Bishop Jakes, alleged to be the frequent guest at Diddy's gatherings, comes into focus. I've been in a storm, I've been up under attack. I'm fine. In response to these swirling rumors, the 66-year-old preacher addressed the accusations during a Christmas Eve service at the Potter's house, vehemently dismissing them as lies. The unfolding drama between Denzel's spiritual journey and the alleged activities of Bishop Jakes adds another layer to the ongoing Hollywood narrative. Once you step into the revealing spotlight, there's no retreat. During discussions about his latest film, Denzel strategically wove in biblical references, selecting his character's name to showcase the depth of his faith and its contemporary relevance. It was Denzel's subtle method of leveraging his craft to disrupt the norm and spotlight the industry's darkest moments. His perspective on the perpetual conflict between higher and base natures resonates, reflecting the universal struggle. However, Denzel Washington isn't merely a harbinger of drama. He employs his artistic prowess as a megaphone for change, in stark contrast to others who seem to be learning their lessons the hard way. Amidst the chaos and controversies, Denzel's unwavering faith stands as a guiding light for those around him. Take for instance the notorious Oscar slap saga of 2022. It turns out Denzel was backstage attempting to mend fences in the aftermath of that tumultuous incident. In the midst of Hollywood's highs and lows, Denzel Washington emerges as a beacon of both resilience and redemption. Because they didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, no one knew. Yeah. No one They knew. don't need to know. Yeah. They know that. Yeah, those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth, not just to be first. In a recent interview, Denzel Washington shared profound insights, cautioning about the potential influence of the devil during our highest moments. Drawing from Will Smith's Oscar acceptance speech, Denzel suggested that the interference of the devil might indicate something significant in the making. 
However, the accusations surrounding Bishop Jakes go beyond a mere slap as he faces allegations of misconduct at Diddy's events. When directly confronted with these allegations, Jakes personally addressed the issue, boldly asserting that he had nothing to repent for, his confidence in the power of sincere repentance from the heart, emphasizing the efficacy of the blood to cover any sin, adds a unique dimension to the unfolding drama. His statement, I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it, but I ain't gotta repent about this, further intensifies the narrative. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. The plot thickens as sins and questionable connections rarely stay hidden in the shadows. The repercussions from Denzel Washington's stance cast a shadow over the possibility of witnessing the downfall of another influential figure. The clash between Denzel's wisdom and Bishop Jake's defiant response adds layers of complexity to the unfolding narrative keeping audiences on the edge of anticipation as the drama continues to unravel. Denzel's humility isn't just a facade for the cameras. It's an integral part of his character. Whether quietly donating to colleges or making visits to hospitals, Denzel's generosity often goes unnoticed. However, what he finds intolerable is the apparent departure from faith exhibited by T.D. Jakes, the influential preacher of the Potter House Church. Their long-standing association suggests shared views on past times, with rumors swirling about Bishop Jakes's compromising his unwavering principles through intimate encounters at wild parties hosted by the embattled music producer Sean Puffy Combs. The brewing drama, not exactly concealed, has social media users eagerly anticipating another epic downfall. All the ins and outs of this situation, but uh, there but for the grace of God, go any of us. Commentary from one observer echoes a sentiment shared by many. This is the season of exposure. He will not be the last. I am not surprised. Another user expressed having discerned issues with Jake's long ago, citing concerns such as lifting up Pope John Paul and socializing with Oprah. Just before the new year, an anonymous email allegedly sent to T.D. Jakes claimed that Cassie Ventura was aiding the FBI in an investigation against Diddy. Ventura had previously filed and settled a civil lawsuit against the hip-hop mogul, accusing him of heinous acts during their decade-long relationship. The recent revelation of an exposing email contends that Bishop Jakes is not aligned with God, asserting that he and Diddy are Freemasons, with the additional claim that his soul is still spoken for by the devil. The reactions from the public suggest that a personal judgment may be looming over him. The devil got a hold of him. That, of that circumstance that that night and fortunately there were people there furthermore shedding light on the ongoing saga mace the renowned rapper and hip-hop artist has opened up about the intricate dynamics between diddy and jakes the financial dispute between mace and diddy a perennial theme in hip-hop lore traces back to the early 2000s when Mace, once a shining star under Diddy's bad boy label, voiced his discontent over what he perceived as exploitation and inadequate compensation for his laborious efforts. Mace has been consistently outspoken about his grievances with Diddy, particularly intensifying after Diddy's 2020 Grammy speech, where he criticized the music industry for its lack of respect towards black music. Mace accused Diddy of hypocrisy and claimed that his publishing rights had been withheld for a staggering 24 years. You ain't getting the money, you ain't getting the publishing, you ain't getting the respect. Delving into the unexpected twist involving Pastor T.D. Jakes in this feud, Mace, in his track titled Oracle 2, The Liberation of M and Via, dropped a revelation that flew under the radar. He lyrically asserted Diddy got a deal with T.D. Jakes, that's why he never paid me. He knew I'd be free one day, and he ain't want me to say what I'm about to say today. This implies that Mace insinuated a clandestine arrangement between Diddy and T.D. Jakes, resulting in a long-standing partnership. The specifics of this arrangement have become a topic of discussion, circulating on social media, adding a new layer to the complex narrative surrounding this hip-hop feud. Minorities. And Roman delves into this, the issues around Regrettably, 
Both Diddy and T.D. Jakes have remained tight-lipped in response to Mace's allegations, further fueling speculation and intensifying the mystery. Some fans have suggested that Mace might be alluding to a 2014 incident when Diddy donated $1 million to T.D. Jakes' church in Dallas. At the time, Diddy publicly praised their collaboration, stating that Bishop Jakes was a transformative leader who had profoundly impacted his life. He expressed honor for Jakes joining the Revolt family and using his gift to empower the culture. However, skeptics questioned Diddy's motives, raising concerns about whether he aimed to curry favor with T.D. Jakes or secure a tax break. Others pointed to Diddy's history of exploiting artists and not fairly compensating them. Adding to the tumult in 2022, a video of Jakes' presence at Diddy's 53rd birthday celebration stirred controversy on social media. In response to the backlash, the executive vice president of T.D. Jakes' Entertainment, who also attended the event, clarified that the pastor only made a brief appearance at the party. Nevertheless, questions arose about Jakes' frequent attendance at Diddy's gatherings and his seemingly close friendship with the hip-hop mogul. Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, asserted that saints should avoid any association with sinners, casting doubt on Jakes' involvement. The situation continues to unfold, with each revelation adding layers to the already intricate narrative. The unsettling occurrences at Diddy's infamous parties are widely acknowledged, with reports not only from insiders, but also from celebrities alluding to suspicious behavior and activities that have taken place at these private gatherings for years. The recent backlash suggests that Bishop Jakes was not immune to the controversies surrounding these events. So, what do you think about all this? Could T.D. Jakes be a part of Diddy's bashes? That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.